Welcome back to our weekly Underdog Fantasy Pick'em. As always, sponsored by Underdog Fantasy. Make sure you guys use code TSB for a 100% deposit match up to $100. And you guys have some fun with some NFL fantasy sports betting. And make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you didn't miss our NBA video, season just started. It's not going anywhere. Check out our NBA preview. And JR, where can everyone follow us on social media before we give our week eight? It's already week. It's already week eight, man. Yeah. Holy crap! It's already week Flying. eight. It's already it's almost November. Yeah. I went to the calendar. I was like, Last week in October. That's crazy. Okay, nobody cares about that. Where do? <laughs> so where can everyone follow us on social media? Yeah, guys, we are on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Talking Sports PD. Um, we've been posting a lot lately. NBA just started. Uh, post our weekly NFL picks, college football. Um, so yeah, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, and also threads if you're on there. Um, yeah, stay up to date with us. We're posting almost every day of the week. Um, so just more content, more sports stuff. So that's at Talking Sports PD. Yeah. And guys, make sure you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to the YouTube channel and tell a friend. Why not? If, you, if everyone tells one friend, it's all good. Just tell a friend. thousand people. Yeah. Just keep telling friends. To subscribe. Okay, Jared, let's get right into it. What does your week eight underdog fantasy pick them look like? And as always, guys, you guys can mix and match. Use one of Jared's, two of mine, two of Jared's, one of mine. You guys know the drill. Jared, what do we got for week eight? Yeah, so I spiced things up. You know, I went two tight ends here. Oh, um, Christian Kirk, over 53 and a half receiving yards. He hit that last week. He had 90 against the Colts, 49 yards. So it was close. 78 yards and 84 yards. And also, he's hit it. Every game, but two games this year. Uh, the first game, he didn't really wasn't really involved, um, and the other ones he was mostly losing. They just didn't play well. I expect him to hit it here. He seems more like the number one target for Lawrence um, after Calvin really's not been doing what people expected him. And then I got Tyler Conklin over twenty eight and a half receiving yards. Uh, he's hit that. He did not hit it last week. Um, hit it three out of. Three game, three weeks um, this season, um, and Giants blitz a ton, so I expect a lot of dink and dunks from Zach Wilson to Conklin, and uh, I think he'll be heavily involved in the offense's script this week. And then I got Dallas Goddard over forty one and a half yards, hit it last week with seventy seven, hit it against the Jets at forty two, hit it against the Rams at one seventeen. Um, so the last three weeks he's hit it, and I expect him to continue catching balls. And getting over around 50 yards um, seems to be one of Hertz's favorite targets behind AJ Brown. So you know, hopefully, I have a lot, a lot better luck than I've had so far. But I'm kind of confident in this one. Yeah, guys, use his picks if you want to make some money. Use code TSP on UnderdogFantasy.com, either on the website or the mobile app. Okay, so I didn't want I didn't go B. Joe Robinson this week because he screwed me. So. Thank you, Atlanta Falcons and B. John Robinson, for whatever that debacle was. But thank you. So for my underdog fantasy week eight, I'm going on the Adam Thielen train. He's been he's been killing his projections. This week it's 71 and a half. It keeps going up because websites keep losing money, so they're going to keep boosting it up. I still think he gets over. Houston's defense is not great. Houston team in general is kind of an average. And he is Carolina's favorite target for a team that is kind of lacking targets. So they, they keep feeding him over 71 and a half receiving yards. Travis Kelsey against this Denver defense, which is terrible. One of the worst defense defenses in the league, probably one of the worst teams in the league. He, this guy's an animal over 72 and a half receiving yards. I threw that in. You probably can also throw a touchdown prop in there as well. Uh, I would hammer anything Travis Kelsey on Sunday. So I'm going 72 and a half receiving yards over. And then my final one, I'm going with the touchdown bet here. And you guys know how I like my I spicy. See. I got my spicy emoji. So this is five to win 37.50. I think Cooper Cup didn't score last week against Pittsburgh. Did score the week before. I think they want to get him involved more. He's slowly coming back from that hamstring injury. I think he finds him, his way into an end zone. I know Dallas defense is pretty good but they are missing Trayvon Diggs, so their strength lies up front. I do think they try to get Cooper Cup the ball a lot, so I like him scoring a touchdown. Travis Kelsey nearly doubled uh, that uh, projection uh, last week in the first half. 
I think it's a Travis Kelsey week. It's yeah. that Denver team is bad. Yeah. And Casey doesn't have a lot of guys to throw the ball to. Unless they're just killing him so bad that he doesn't play in the second half. But True. That's what made me. The touchdown prop might be better. Yeah. So but... throw that in there as well. If that hits, credit us. Okay. Jared, where can everyone find us on social media before we get out of here? Yeah. We're on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Talking Sports PD. And like Pete said, use underdog code, underdog fantasy code TSP to get a hundred percent deposit match um, on creating a new account. So at Talking Sports PD and all social medias and code TSP on underdog fantasy. If you guys haven't checked out our NBA preview, it's not too late. You can find it on YouTube, yeah. Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Just type in Talking Sports Podcast, you will find it. Make sure you guys subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, and tell a friend. We'll see you guys next week for our, oh my God, our week nine underdog fantasy picks. Make sure you guys check out everything on the channel and the podcast. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.